What's the number one thing you want to do? Go to the cat cafe. The what? The cat cafe. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. What is a cat cafe? It's where there's a bunch of cats and um, you can hang out with the cats. Going to the cat cafe. The cat cafe is located downtown Reykjavik. You can get a coffee, a snack, a dessert, and hang out and play with their cats. Absolutely brilliant. The island of Iceland only has a population a little over 350,000. Of that, 60% lives in the Reykjavik metro area. Iceland is known for being expensive, especially once you're on the ground. It's not fancy, but expensive. Maybe a little bit overhyped, but it's still expensive. There is a bonus grocery store located about a block behind the cat cafe. Side note, if you want to get beer and wine, it's only sold to government-run liquor stores. If you're planning a short two to three day trip, just use Reykjavik as your home base. If you're spending a week or more, spend a max of two nights. The adventure and the beauty of Iceland really is elsewhere on the island. We were in Iceland for 10 nights. We spent two nights in Reykjavik and one night at the Blue Lagoon, which you can see here, by the way. All right, moving on. So this uh, little water closet thing is like self-cleaning, public on the street. We're gonna give it a try. Free entrance, push to open. In a variety of places, but this is definitely unique. It has like this self-cleaning mechanism. You have to like wait and it automatically opens. Slightly bizarre. It's making noises. Wow. Ready? He's gonna open on us. <laughs> For now. Look at that. Um, Hug yeah, each other. Do you like my rings? <laughs> 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 get my head. It doesn't fit me either. It fits Stella though. Stop the church. All roads seem to lead to the church. The Hallgrimskirkjaga is named after a famous Icelandic or memorial of a famous Icelandic poet. The church stands 244 feet. It's the National Church, or the Lutheran Church of Iceland. The church is free to go into, but if you want to go up the tower, it costs a small fee, roughly a thousand Icelandic Corona, which I'll let you do the conversion on that. The view is Pretty spectacular. <laughs> spectacular. And you can see the house with grass on it. And you can see the other side of Iceland.
kind of waffles we got there, folks? Chocolate and whipped cream and then just sugar. Sugar and chocolate. Sweet and chocolate is actually what we got from the waffle wagon. Bring this close. Oh my! One hour outside of Reykjavik is the very popular and touristy Golden Circle, which includes the geyser hot springs, the massive Gulf Foss, and Thinkavilla National Park. Made about 30 minutes outside Reykjavik and Stella got sick. Seems to be par for the course with the family when we travel in Europe. We're gonna stay in Reykholt. Don's gonna punch us into the place. Special code. Whoop, look at that. Dad shut everyone but mom's door for the car. Here's a hot tub. Light, 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 no light. Some mountain there. Volcano, glacier. Oh, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. Tomorrow we're off to geysers and more waterfalls. Anything to say, Stella? No. <laughs> no. Oh, we saw a fox. We did. We saw a fox. A little like Arctic fox was running up the road. But we couldn't get the camera out fast enough. You can see him. He's like running. saw a fox going down the road. Our first Arctic fox. Awesome. Hey, welcome to Jeff Carry On. Good morning. We are in Reykholt in the Golden Circle, and we're gonna go check out some things around the Golden Circle today. First stop is the geyser, which is the original geyser in Geyser Iceland. Yes, all other geysers in the world are named after this geyser, which is the geyser, if that makes sense. And there's horses everywhere. Hi, buddy. Due to its proximity to Reykjavik, the Golden Circle is touristy. The tour buses and the crowds can be massive compared to the rest of Iceland. So we're at the guys. Everyone's got their camera waiting for that moment. There it was. Strokur erupts every six to ten minutes at a height of roughly 40 to 60 feet. What you're missing from this video is the smell of sulfur. On the left is geyser, which is less active and dormant. And on the right is strokur. And this is actually geyser. So geyser is the original geyser, which I guess in Icelandic means gusher, which I find fascinating that all other geysers are named after this guy, geyser. So when you say Old Faithful is a geyser, they say, basically you're saying Old Faithful is just like this guy, geyser. Got this ride. Good looking Mercedes. Seriously. <laughs> Ray Cold, geyser, Gulf Plus. All right, we are at Golfoss, which means Golden Falls. Apparently, it uh, in the evenings has a golden glow to it. Cracking down these drones, man. Now we're going to walk down to the uh, bottom platform, see what the view looks like down there. This area of Iceland really reminds me of Montana, big sky country, maybe a little bit of Wyoming, out in uh, the western United States. 
there's smaller white cap mountains, not quite like the Rockies, but the big rolling hills where you can just see for 10 to 15 kilometers. Totally reminds me of Montana. Gold Foss is massive. It has three tiers that dive about 100 feet into the canyon. The water throughput is impressive and you can really, really feel the energy of the falls. It was our favorite part of the Golden Circle and it's one of the top waterfalls in Iceland. Lower platform, I think this is uh... Gold Foss, man. I saw five stars in that. I think that's spectacular. I get why everyone wants to drive out here to see this. Geyser, you know, I guess having seen a variety of geysers, I give it maybe two to three stars in the five star rating. There's some historical significance of it, but really not that impressive if you've seen Old Faithful or any other geyser in, in your country. But Kirid is a volcanic crater lake. It's roughly 108 feet deep and 890 feet wide. to the bottom of the crater. Dad, sign said no walking. No walking. If you give you the scale, see the tiny people on top? Finally, Finkvavlia National Park, which is the boundary between North America and Eurasia tectonic plates. From a geological standpoint, this is the gap where Europe meets North America. Pretty cool. 